Fanny Price. You have created sensations, which my heart has never known before. I go to Jane Austen for like life advice, you know, like she's very intelligent, but she keeps a very light tone in her novels, in the way she describes human dynamics. And that's what's really enjoyable to me. It's so expressive. Like, I think now we don't really say what's on our minds, really. Um, or if we do, it's very cut short. We what? the text does, it allows me to tap into this like really vulnerable like side of um, the characters where you're able to express things to the full extent. Like if you're, if you're outraged, you're really outraged. But this is all nonsense. A mere trifling and gallantry meant to deceive for the hour, surely. It's also important for us to realize when she was writing it, mm. you know, mm -hmm. and the fact that at that time, some of the things that she might have wanted to talk about was not possible. Yeah. She wrote it in between the end of slave trade and slavery. It was right in the middle. Oh, this is so like him. So entirely of a piece with what I have seen before. Mr. Crawford, I beg you would not. This is a sort of talking which is very unpleasant to me. I must go away. I cannot bear it. A lot of what is um, that explored in this play and in the novel itself is this um, displacement and people trying to find their place in society. Through going through the, the, the characters' journeys and stories within the play, you realise they're not very dissimilar to people. Yeah. Nah, it's like it's the same things. People are going through the same things.